So your boy thought he was going to pick up a whole hobby without your girl. So there was this myth that if your wife sees you having too much fun without her, she ain't having it. She either going to A, stop you from having it, or B, try to join you. So I got a bike. I'm here to tell you that it's not a myth. It's a scientific fact. Deval has a bike. So I think it's going to be adorable if we go riding together. I don't get, I don't get nothing to myself. She want to join in on don't all Don't lie fun. and act as if you don't want me to come with you. No, I'm not, I do. I like, I like when you ride it. And it'll be cute. Another scientific fact. Wives like to do everything together except that. Well, can you hurry up? We're going to go I get to, do it before the sun goes We're going to get to riding, okay? I'm excited. We lit. You, you're forgetting the bike. Oh, let me bike. get the bike. See, this excitement is not for exercising. It's not even for riding the bike. The excitement is for the fact that she has found a way to include herself in my individual fun. And we're off. So excited. Can, yes. Can stop. This is not a, a game. Like, you haven't ridden a bike in so long. You're too hype right now. You know the saying, how it goes, like, if you haven't done something in a long time, they're like, it's All like right. riding a bike. You just get back on the bike, it's like riding a bike. No one can say that I didn't try to warn her. So but this hill's here. Like, this is, this, you know what? All right, you keep playing around. No, I don't think, I'm not playing around. I'm just saying, like, I'm excited. Okay, you focus? We got a little date. Okay, you focus? I'm focused, okay. You should be holding your own bike. All right, give me my bike. Put the phone down. I'm trying to show people that I'm going to go ride the bike. Look at him go, look at him go. All right, let me go get the bike for real, for real. Five minutes later. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, look, look at your girl. Did I shut up? Look at your girl. Nah, you was all hype, you wasn't paying attention. Now look. My knee hurt. Look at look at your pants. Show him no, show him the elbow. <sighs> See? I'm when when I was trying to be serious. The last time I fell on a bike was like, I was like twelve. And then I never rode a bike again. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? You weren't paying attention. Now let's recap. She wanted a treadmill. I buy a treadmill. I buy myself a bike. I go out one day on the bike, have a blast by myself. Come back smiling, she don't like it. Now she want a bike to ride with me on my bike. I say fine, I'ma buy you a bike, but you need to calm down, relax, and focus. She say, I got this. Now I remember her saying I got this because I was there when she said I got this to me. Turns out she don't got it because she wasn't focused. She falls and somehow it's my fault. If you were paying attention, you wouldn't have fell. I was paying attention, but you was riding mad slow in front of me. And by the time okay. I hit the brake, I flew out, I flew and then I flew. Mommy, you okay? I fell on my bike a lot of times. During the circle, I bumped into the Thank you, Jackson. See, and so what, you just get back up, right? I'm trying to tell her, I know you fell, but this moment is bigger than you right now. You down here riding your bike in front of the kids, you fall, you can't get up, walk your bike up the hill and say you never riding bikes ever again. What kind of example are you setting? Now you trying to quit? I'm not riding the bike every day. Like, Look, go ahead. Mommy, go ahead. Mommy, mommy somehow retired. Look at my face. You, you, you running into me right now? Look. See? We were just standing there talking. We going less than one mile per hour when she managed to run into me because she focused on the wrong thing. Look, Val, my favorite leggings. That's, not my, my That's not my problem. That's not my problem. It's not my problem. She'll be all right. Go She'll ahead. be all right. Now this right here is why I say I need a daughter. I'll be in here putting stuff together for these little rug racks, putting together treadmills, fixing bikes, jumping over fences to get balls that fly over there. Sometimes I scrape my knee, I scrape my elbow. Do I get any sympathy? No. All I hear from these little kids is, hey, dad, you got man up. Don't let nobody see you crying. But let something happen to their mama. They in there with band-aids for the knee. But you know what? I love it. Because don't nobody take care of their mama like sons. Sons will take care of their mamas. And I'm, I'm appreciate the fact that they're taking care of their mama. But I'm going to need a daughter to take care of daddy, though. So lay on the bed. 
you need me to lay on the bed? Yeah. Okay. So your booboo don't get hurt, okay? So my booboo doesn't get hurt. So mommy, how yes. long will you be, uh, be careful? Okay. Mommy has to be careful. That's what I should have been careful to begin with. But I was not being careful. Look at how serious my boy take his mother. It warm my heart. It warm my heart because we got to take care of our mamas. got to take care of our queens. You know, just, just right here, right here. Just got me, got me. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of what we. Jax is still riding his bike. So hold there. There you go. Perfect. Wait, let's punch your stick. Why are you doing that? His name? Come on. I'm gonna roll this on your boo, okay? Huh? What? You're gonna roll out my boo boo? Yeah. What? That's some new age treatment, Charlie. Side, side note before I get back to the jokes. Uh, you know you're doing a good job as a parent when your kids know how to show empathy and compassion to other people. Like, that's when you know you're doing a good job. You made me feel so much better, Rui. Yeah. Thank you so much. Can I have a hug now? Yes. It's gonna make me feel so much better. Thank you. Mm, you're the best ever. I appreciate your help. Yes. Thank you. All right, you're good to go. Come here. Come here. It's all right. <laughs> Want me kiss it? Want me kiss it like Kyra? I can't. Let me kiss it like Kyra. Let me kiss it. Let me kiss it. Thank you. Shout out to now Kyra. It's all Kyra good was now. the only one that had concern to come over there and make sure that I was all disaffected. I can't baby you. Just he like I tell the, the kids, I can't baby you. All right, it's a life lesson. You fall off your bike, you get back up. We fall down, but we get up. Kadeen gonna try to milk this as long as she can because she failed. I know her, but I ain't gonna let her off the hook that fast because she ruined my biking experience, okay? Now I had to make this whole day about her. I couldn't even get my workout in. So I'm gonna let her have it. Speak for yourself. For a saint is just a spinner who fell down and got out. <laughs> Y'all don't ever fall off a bike in front of him because clearly it's a joke. Now how long is this going to take to heal? And y'all think Rowie get his drama from me? <laughs> Rowie. Here we go again. Now me and Rowie, we got matching boobs. Rowie, let me see your boo-boo. Where's your boo-boo, Rowie? Oh, yeah, you wanna try? See? Uh-huh. Now we got matching boobs. They act so dramatic. They act so dramatic. I just want me off. I just hit my elbow on your bike. At uh, least you didn't cry. True. Exactly. Tell her, Aiden. We don't cry. We don't cry, baby. We don't cry. We don't cry, because baby. I entrusted you with my daughter. She fell on her own. I, this is how you brought her I had to nothing to do with, with a it. bruised elbow. I had nothing to do with it. And a bruised knee. Thank God the face was protected. Uh, hallelujah. Tuck the chin. Hallelujah. Tuck the chin. Always tell them. Tuck the, the chin. Face. Protect the face. Now, I'm going to try my best to explain how she fell because I actually didn't see it, okay? We were on the street, and I told her to follow me, okay? We were going to go around the cul-de-sac just so she can get some practice in. I was going all of three miles per hour when all of a sudden I heard, Go to Val, go! Before I knew it, I was getting rear-ended, and I felt this huge push on my back. When I turned around... Kadeen was falling like this in slow motion. By the time I realized what was happening, I had reached back with my left hand to save her, but she was falling too fast in slow motion. So when I had reached back to, to grab her, she never extended her hands off the handlebars to reach for my hand. She just kept falling like this with both hands on the handlebars. And I was like, Kadeen, no. And she was just looking at me like, and then she hit the pavement. Boo! She hit the pavement. So I looked at her and her hands were still on the handlebars and her legs were still going like she was trying to ride the bike. And I was like, baby, 
You why? She just said. No, I'm not. That's how I looked it out. Seriously, seriously, that's how I looked. It be your, it be your own husband. So the moral of the story is: when you're falling off a bike, let go of the handlebars and put your foot down. Maybe you won't fall. Don't say I ain't never tell you nothing. I love you, baby. The thing I like about you is that, man, no man can hold you down, baby. This is what you literally a rider. You ride or die. You almost died out there today. <laughs> you got back up and you kept riding. Technically, she never stopped riding. Even when she fell, she was still riding. The See? true, the true See? definition of a ride or true die. True definition of a ride or die. I you know have an elbow though. Let me see. Let me see. An elbow though. Thank you. Thank you. So, so what, what do I get to get now? Cause I'm injured. Whatever you want, baby. Whatever you want. Donuts. Cheers. Whatever. You want donuts? You need donuts. All right. Nah, because then I'm out of commission now. I can't work out for another two weeks. No, no, that's not. Look at you. Looking for a whole reason. No.